Today we're smoking up a pork shoulder, but not just any pork shoulder, this is a picnic shoulder, and we're going to smoke it low and slow on this beast. The Masterbuilt Gravity 560. We're also going to whip up a tangy Carolina barbecue sauce to go with it. Stick around. So for those of you who don't know, the picnic shoulder is located directly below the Boston butt and includes all of the leg until the hock, right above the pig's front foot. I mean, come on, if that doesn't sound appetizing, I don't know what does. As you can see, there's a nice layer of skin on there too, and if you wanted to cook this up real pretty, you could score the skin and you could do that. But we're not doing that today, so off it comes so we can ensure that all the rub and smoke gets in there. I like to throw down a layer of olive oil first to give the rub something to bind to, and uh, you know, as you can see here, I'm really skilled at brushing with my left hand. Okay, moving on. We're all seasoned up. I'm using a garlic pepper rub from McCormick's and a smoky chipotle rub from Butcher Barbecue. If you want to learn more about their spices and rubs, check out this recent video. So we're going to let this rest for a bit and then get the master built fired up. knock out this Carolina barbecue sauce. First up is a cup of apple cider vinegar. Next is one cup of ketchup, one half cup of brown sugar, one third a cup of yellow mustard, using a tablespoon of the McCormick seasoning. You also need a quarter teaspoon of salt and a couple dashes of Worcestershire sauce. This is optional, you can put in a quarter teaspoon of chili flakes. So once you get all of the kids into the pool there, you mix them up real good and uh, make sure everything's nicely incorporated, okay? And then you can turn it up to you know medium-high heat, bring it up to a boil, and let that simmer down. Keep an eye on it, make sure you mix it. And um, that's basically it. You'll be good to go. Take it off the heat, let it cool down. So the pork's been on for about an hour, and now is the time when I like to temp it, put the temp probe in, and then I can monitor the progress. Now, speaking of progress, this actually wasn't moving along as quickly as I would have liked. So I just, uh, on the fly, brought up the uh, Masterbuilt app and bumped up the temperature from 250 to 275 just to hurry things along a little. So after about four hours, it's time to wrap this baby with a little beer and finish off this cook. And once it was done, which was to about 200 degrees internal, we let it rest for about an hour and pull it apart. Had us a tasty pulled pork dinner with some tangy Carolina barbecue sauce. Hey, if you like today's video, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to follow us at Far Beyond Barbecue on Instagram.